Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. First, before we get started, happy Mother's Day to all of you out there that have children that are mamas. Happy Mother's Day to your mamas. Happy Mother's Day to all of the single fathers that are raising their children and pulling double duty as both mom and dad. And happy Mother's Day to all of those people that have taken the place of a mama and are helping raising a child. Okay, so it's your special day. Now back to the tea. Okay, so earlier today, if you follow 90 Days Fiance, you guys should know that this cast has been so crazy on social media. They are everywhere. They are doing everything. They are like, they can't stay offline. And nobody spends more time going live on this in this crew than Big Ed. For some strange reason, literally everyone and their mom is obsessed with this guy, and I've never really figured out why. He's um, not my favorite for the way that he has portrayed, like how he's treated Rose, um, how he acts, and then a lot of people on social media and on Instagram have been like questioning some of the things that he's doing while he's live with on Instagram. He has a very large fan base, um, courtesy of uh, his... Mr. PewDiePie talking about him and Mr. PewDiePie has a very young audience and that and therefore now all of these sort of gamers that are younger have started following him and are now his biggest fans. And with that being said, they're all trying to go live with him. Not only that, but um, he somehow just randomly picks to go live with these people. You can see photos on Instagram so you know who you're going live with. So that specific sort of choice by him has been making people like not like things. And then there's been this, these looming sort of allegations of things that he has done to former co-workers, things that he has said to for, former co co-workers, the way that he um, treated Rose. There just seems to be like a lot of people feeling like things don't add up. Your behavior is troublesome. We don't really like this. Gross. You know what I mean? So t earlier today, he was live streaming on Instagram. Shocking, I know. And while live streaming, the craziest thing happened. So he claimed afterwards in a video, which I'll show you in a second, that he was a, trying to go live with someone who is like a humongous fan because everyone's a humongous fan of his. Ed, let me just take things down a notch. You're literally one, 10, 10 episodes in, 12 episodes into 90 Day Fiance. I don't know that you actually have fans yet. I mean, you might have fans, but not everyone is your biggest fan. Anyways, that's just my digression. Okay, so um, he claimed that he was trying to go live with this one person and then he accidentally went live with this other person. And he claims that this person hacked into his live, which isn't true, that that doesn't happen. That's He picked this person. So it was caught by mommy says bad words, okay? And it's basically Ed goes live. He I can't show you it because it's that inappropriate. But while going live, the person who joins, the camera's down and it pans up and it's the hokey pokey time, like standing up time, like hanging out, hanging out over a table kind, you know what I mean? And it, and it was there, you could see it. It was very, um, it was there, okay? And people were like, whoa, what just happened? What did I, what did my eyeballs just see? And a lot of people left the live stream because they were like, this is so inappropriate. Now he's had some other things on his lives where he's talked to people and said things that have made people like scratch their heads and put their heads down and like pound them on the table. But that sort of took the tape, like took the case. And he always has an excuse for everything that goes wrong on these lives. Now, after this live happens, um, he pulls it off. I'm sure it wasn't even pulled off. I'm sure it wasn't even allowed to be like on. I'm sure somehow it got flagged for like, because you can't have that kind of stuff on Instagram. Um, I wonder if he'll get in trouble for for doing lives. I don't know. But anyways, he posted then a video on his feed. So on his like, he didn't post it in a live video. He didn't go back live. He actually posted it down in a video on his feed and he apologized for what happened. I got to apologize. Some degenerate um, hacked into one of my feeds and puts in inappropriate material on my live stream. So he says someone hacked into his live stream and posted the inappropriate material, which, by the way, 
nobody hacked into your live stream Ed. you literally welcomed that person onto your live because you put you you clicked on it and you said here we go right before it mommy says bad words actually has the full clip i was trying to get a hold of nate nate is a 17 year old with down syndrome and he's one of my biggest fans and he's been wanting to talk to me so i just wanted to give nate some love um his mom and um, brother were right there, and we tried to. Um, I tried to click on him, and I couldn't. And some asshole uh, put porn. Okay, so somebody then gets onto the stream, which he probably, I'm assuming, clicked on the person right below him, because as soon as he clicked it, it went live. You can't just get into somebody's live stream. So then he goes out and he calls this person's name out by name and or username and he says, you have been blocked and you have been reported to Instagram. Doesn't really matter if that person d did it. I mean, it, I'm, I'm assuming that this person literally was brought onto the live stream by Ed. He accidentally put this person on live stream. But anyways, um, people then on, sorry, people on Instagram with the excuse weren't necessarily buying it because they were like, Okay, so one person says, I'm like, I can't believe someone would have the common decency and human respect to do this. And like, I know we live in such a sad world. Unfortunately, I have to apologize to you and everyone, but he has been reported in Instagram and he has been blocked. Um, but people were then quick to point out to him that like he's so upset and so offended by this, but that he has no problem like talking to other, you know, to, to kids, to girls to saying things to people that are, you know, that are kind of questionable. People were pointing out that they, they think it's funny that he's apologizing for this, but has not like apologized for any of the other times where people have sort of called him out for saying things to people that were inappropriate or not nice. Um, they've also pointed out to him that, you know, you've done all these things to Rose and have not yet apologized. Like you're apologizing for this and you're not talking about the lady that has said that she worked with you and while working with you a bunch of stuff happened that wasn't cool and she's made several videos about it and you've just ignored it he has not brought up or discussed any of the women on groups that have made similar claims about him but it was this this mistake by him not someone hacking into his account where he has to apologize. No, I don't think it's wrong for him to apologize. I mean, sure, apologize. Like, whoa, that's a big error. That's a big gaffe. Like, and you can't control. Others were quick to point out that you can't. Here's the issue, Ed. This is what others are pointing out. That if you are on, online 24 hours a day, going live constantly, and you have no idea who you're going to go live with, this is what's bound to happen. Because there's always someone that's going to try to do something nefarious to like either get you in trouble, to get your account kicked off, to do something to get you to make like attention. And this wouldn't be the first time something like this happens. So they were sort of like saying, hey, Ed, it's your fault because you're the one that keeps doing this. It's your fault because you're the one that can't, you're such a narcissist that you keep going live all the time. Now, hey, if he's bored at home and he feels like this is like one of his ways to interact with people, that's one thing. But I just feel like people are starting, now there's people that obviously support him that are like, it's okay, Ed, don't worry, we love you and Teddy, it's fine, we're your fans, it's great, you know, and then there's other people are just like, I can't believe you're so defensive of him, like, how can you defend him? I don't know what the truth is with Ed, I don't know what his, I just say as a whole, I have found his behavior on Instagram to be a little bit troublesome, he's a 50-some year old man that's constantly interacting with people that are not his age, and that's as an adult that has a child that worries me um and then there's just the way that he treated rose and then this looming question of who this woman is and why he won't address that and i know he's not under any obligation to address that but when you have so many questionable things happening and you have so many bad behaviors happening at some point the tide is going to turn okay so he's being like featured and spoofed on saturday night live and there's all these stuff you know he's all the celebrities are obsessed with him. But at the same time, like, are we obsessed with Ed because of who he is? Do we think Ed is a good person? Or are we obsessed with Ed because he's a sideshow or he's a hot train wreck? What is it?
Like I cover Ed because he's on the show that I happen to watch that you guys love to hear about, but I don't have this obsession with like falling and fawning over all of his stuff. I'm going to give credit where credit's due. I saw this on Mommy Says Bad Words, a blogger that I've talked to in the past. So if I hadn't seen it on her page, I wouldn't have known what it was. So do you think someone hacked into his account or do you think he just made a mistake? And do you think the fact that he's calling it like they hacked into my account versus just owning up to the fact that I clicked on the wrong person and takes no responsibility for it? Do you think he loses streaming rights? I wonder if he will be because that could actually get him kicked off of Instagram, but he still has an Instagram, but somehow it's the person's fault that he invited onto the stream for posting that, not his, which he owns his own stream. Oh, Ed, it's always somebody else's fault, right? It was Rose's sister who wanted $75 from you. She wanted you for her money, your money. Mm-hmm, right. It was Rose for not shaving those pesky long leg hairs or not brushing those pearly white teeth so her teeth smelled pretty. It's always her fault, Ed. You didn't lie about your height or not wanting kids, right? You would never do that. All right, you guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Was it a mistake? Was it an error? Or was he hacked? Let me know in the comments below.